All right, conservation of energy. Man, this is physicists' favorite principle ever, by far. And mine too, by the way. I love, love me some conservation of energy. What does this say? This says that if you add up, here's a fancy symbol, sigma. That's the fancy symbol we use to represent adding up. I add up all the initial energy at some point in a system. That's going to equal all the energy in the system at some final point, some later moment in time. Those will be equal if and only if the system, well, not only if, but if the system is closed. So what does a closed system mean? I want you to imagine this. Let me explain a closed system. A closed system is like this. So imagine a house. It's a magical house. This house is totally insulated. No energy can get in or out. What happens in this house stays in this. Dirt. What no, happens no. in this house stays in this house. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay, well, they can wait. This is physics, man. Physics doesn't wait for nobody. So there's this guy. He's a guy in here. Look at, dude, he's, dude, they're partying. They're just straight up rocking in here. There's a guy. There's some guy on the roof. I don't even know what he's doing up there. He's not even supposed to be up there. There's a dog. What is a dog doing here? I don't even know. Is that a dog? Can't tell. It's craziness going on here. They're partying. All kinds of stuff going on. They've got energy. They've got, let's say, exactly 100 joules of energy in this house. Conservation of energy says if that system's closed, if that system clo system's closed, no energy is getting in or out. It's not allowed to. This thing is closed up. And if it's closed, conservation of energy says that there will never, you will never find more than 100 joules of energy in this party. I don't care how long you wait. You could wait until some other later point in time. Let's wait over here. Keep in mind, this house is closed. No energy is allowed to get in or out. So if there was any energy that was going to change, the only thing that could happen, either these people in here and the dog would have to create energy or they'd have to get rid of it. They'd have to, like, get rid of it in some way. So, I mean, energy can get, shoot, they can transfer energy amongst each other, man. They can, like, trade energy. This energy can go all over the place. This guy down here, dude, this guy can just jump off the ceiling. He's going to jump into the pit, dude. He's going for it. Boom. This guy's going to, like, try to catch him. He's like, oh, dang. I didn't know it was that kind of party. This dog's hiding. This dog's hiding in the corner. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's sorry he came, actually. Now, this guy's got kinetic energy he didn't have before. The potential energy turned into kinetic energy. There's thermal energy because the dog's freaking out and, like, trying to dig a hole. But it doesn't matter. No matter what happens, you look inside of here, energy will change form, but you will never find more than 100 joules of energy in that system if it's closed, if no energy is allowed to go in or out. And the reason for that is the conservation of energy, which says that no energy can get created or destroyed in here. The only thing it can do is change forms between thermal energy and potential energy and kinetic energy and all kinds of other forms of energy, but you can never get rid of it. That's the conservation of energy. So in an equation form, it might look like this. Shoot, this is our initial state. Well, initial energy, final energy, I'm going to add all this up. Dude, it might have kinetic energy. You add all of it up. I'm not just talking about the kinetic energy of one thing. I'm talking about the kinetic energy of all of them. you got to add up all the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy of the dog, kinetic energy of this guy on the roof, kinetic energy of the guy on the dance floor. You add that to all of the gravitational potential energy and whatever kind of potential energy is in there, actually, all of it that everyone has. That's got to equal the final kinetic energy, whatever kinetic energy they've got over here, all added up, plus the final potential energies all added up, and plus if there was any th extra thermal energy generated because of friction or air resistance, you'd have to add that in over here, man. They were partying, dude. It's going to get hot in here. It's going to heat up. Now, some of that... Some of that 
potential energy and kinetic energy is going to turn into thermal energy. It's not allowed to leave if it's a closed system, but it's going to be in here in the form of thermal energy. And this would be a mathematical statement that represents conservation of energy right here. That's it, conservation of energy. But uh, you might ask, hold on, what if work could be done, dude? What if there's like a party crasher? Look at this guy. He comes in here. He didn't get invited, man. He's mad. So he's going to like reach in. He's going to push that dog. He's got really long arms. He's going to push that dog. He's going to do work on that dog, give him some extra energy, and then he's going to run away because he's a little punk. You don't even want to know who this guy is. He runs away. He's not part of the system. He's outside the system. He did work on the system. He added energy into it. Now, that extra energy gets to mingle around in here. That extra energy is in here in some form. Maybe it turned into some of the kinetic energy of the dog, but then he bumped into this guy. So now you got 100 joules. Um, you started with 100 joules plus the work done by this guy in the system. Now you got 100 joules plus wherever that extra energy went. So the way you incorporate that in here, initially you had all this energy, but you've also got the work done by outside forces on the system. And now this is a complete, now it doesn't even have to be if the system's closed. This is for even if the system's not closed. You just have to take into account any energy that gets in or out of the system by people doing work on it from the outside. So that's conservation of energy.